If you're thinking about buying an iPad mini, I've got some really, really good news. Tim Cook, where are those new iPads? That's all as tech reviewers and tech news people have been asking for the last few weeks, or is it months? Maybe it's years, I have no idea, I've lost count. However long it's been, it's been a long time since Apple launched a new iPad, and yes, we've made a bit of a joke about this as tech creator people, but I'd imagine if you're waiting to buy an iPad, it's really annoying. I do have some good news though, if the iPad you're thinking about buying if the iPad you're thinking about buying is the iPad mini. And the reason for that is because you can just buy the iPad mini 6 today. No, I'm not mad, and yes, this is another iPad mini video from yours truly, but there's a good reason for that. And ironically, I've got six reasons you should buy one of these today. Reason number one is that a new iPad mini clearly isn't coming anytime soon. The latest rumours, and yes, I know they're completely unreliable these days, suggest that the iPad mini 7 probably, in fact almost definitely, will not appear until later this year. People who are close to the matter are still suggesting we're getting iPads before WWDC, but they're not going to be the iPad mini. The likelihood is we're going to get a new iPad Pro and a new iPad Air, next month in May. But even that isn't guaranteed. Oh, hang on, I forgot, sorry. We, we're also getting, apparently before WWDC, a new Apple Pencil and a new Magic Keyboard. But the iPad Mini, which is this one, according to Mark Gurman, who, well, he knows what he's talking about normally, and I walked past him at CES, by the way, which I, was interesting, not that interesting. He's saying that basically he's using that phrase, at the earliest, we're not gonna see the new iPad Mini until the end of 2024. This is why waiting on Apple is a fool's game. Reason number two is that it is still the best digital note taker on the planet, no questions. And yes, I know I'm a bit of a broken record about this, but there's a very good reason for that. And, well, a recent thing that I've done has revealed that this is definitely the case. And that thing that I've done is switch from the iPhone 15 Pro Max to the S24 Ultra. And if you know the S24 Ultra, you'll know that it has a stylus. And I absolutely hate hate writing with this. There's just not enough space on the display to rest your palm, so you have to do this kind of writing thing like this, which doesn't work. So, the S24 Ultra is way too small for note-taking. Big iPads are way too big for note-taking. The iPad Mini is perfect. And when combined with the Apple Pencil, this isn't an Apple Pencil, this is the Benx alternative. It's much cheaper and just as capable apart from pressure sensitivity, but I'll, I'll put a link down below so you can go and check this out. But basically, this plus this plus Paperlike, who are very kindly sponsoring this video, makes this the best digital note taker ever. And a quick word on Paperlike, guys. If you haven't experienced it yet, you're missing out. Normally, I don't put screen protectors on anything because they dull the colours, they make the screen feel weird. They're just a bit rubbish. Paperlike isn't. And that's because one, Paperlike does not dull the colours. Two, it turns the surface of your iPad into what feels like paper. It's really difficult to convey how game-changing it is on a video, but trust me, it's remarkable. It feels like you're writing on paper, it sounds like you're writing on paper, and it's the reason I use the iPad mini for taking notes. Whether you're a note taker like me or an artist or someone who just likes to sketch on their iPad, the Paperlike is an absolute no-brainer. There are Paperlikes available for all of the iPads that you can buy at the moment and they have some additional things you can check out as well, including a grip for the Apple Pencil and a very unique screen cleaner. To find out more about Paperlike, just click that link below. Reason number three does start with a bit of a caveat because let's not beat around the bush, the iPad mini 6 is not a cheap iPad. I had to remind myself, it still costs 569 quid for the 64 gig version and a whopping 749 quid for the 256 gig version. And yes, there's nothing in between. There's no 128, it's 64 or 256. However, who says you need to buy this brand new from Apple? Tim Cook, arguably, but I certainly don't. Amazon is always worth a sniff and at the time of filming you can save 40 UK pounds on the 64 gig version. However the real savings can be found on the Apple refurb store. Once again at the time of filming you can save 110 pounds, 110 quid on the 256 gig model. Now those devices from the Apple refurb store 
are basically brand new and you get warranty. But if you dig even deeper, and if you don't mind spending a bit of time, well, quite a lot of time sussing out the websites you can trust, you can save even more. I've seen the 64 gig iPad mini on other refurb websites for as little as 389 pounds. Reason number four is that you may not need a bigger iPad. Now let me make a confession. This is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I do have an M2 version at home, but whenever I buy one of these iPads, these massive iPads, I don't know what to do with them. I play around with them. I use them a bit for writing, for music production, for trying out video editing, but nothing sticks. And more tellingly, I always go back to the MacBook. The same goes with the iPad Air. I think this is an amazing iPad. I think it's one of Apple's greatest triumphs for a lot of people. But for me, I just don't know what to do with it. The iPad mini sits in a class of its own. It's not big enough to be a laptop replacement. Although if you know me, you know that I'm desperate for Apple to make a mini magic keyboard. But regardless of that, this is never going to be biting at the heels of my MacBook Pro. Equally, it's not small enough to replace my smartphone and, well, it's it's not a smartphone, so it can't do that. It's its own little thing, which is perfection. So if you keep looking at this and then thinking maybe I need one of these or maybe I need the latest version of the iPad Pro, the big one, would you rather spend loads of money on something like that, use it for a bit and leave it at home and forget about it, or spend less money, considerably less money, on one of these? these, refurbished or secondhand, and take it with you everywhere. Reason number five is that there is a reason you're watching this video. You want an iPad mini. You can't stop thinking about it. You've been researching it for days, weeks, months, maybe years. You've jumped on every single rumor that suggests the iPad mini 7 is coming. And every single time you've been let down by Apple. Yet you still want an iPad mini and you're fed up with waiting on Apple. There's a really simple solution to this. Just buy that iPad mini 6 today. And if you're still not convinced, there's one more reason you should do that. Right, hold on to your trousers. Reason number six is what if Apple is not going to replace the iPad mini 6. What if this is the iPad mini's swan, swan? swan song? They did this with, where is it? No, where is it? The iPhone mini. From where I stand, the iPad mini has a massive fan base, as did this, but I'm only seeing a condensed version of that market. Tim Cook sees the entire picture, and what if for him, all of the lines on his spreadsheet for the iPad mini are going, maybe not enough people are buying it, which is what we think happened with the iPhone. I can't keep talking about it, it's too, it's too heartbreaking, sorry. What if the same thing happens with the iPad mini? This could become a collector's item. Now, obviously my reason number six is a last ditch thing. I don't think Apple is going to cancel the iPad mini. I think they will release an iPad mini seven at some stage. There are downsides to buying the iPad mini six. It doesn't have pro motion. The chip is aging. It won't have as much support in terms of iOS updates in the future compared to a new version. The camera system is okay. However, if you really want one and you're fed up with waiting for the iPad mini seven and you find an iPad mini six at the right price, just go for it. If you've enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button and give me a cheeky thumbs up. And if you've still got some time, keep watching for a link to another iPad related video.